Hello everyone, this is Nirupama and welcome to Simplify. Today I'm going to share with you five simple exercises that you can do at home to burn belly fat. There's often a misunderstanding that abdominal exercises help burn abdominal fat. People go on this three week or one month challenges where they do 100 crunches or 100 sit ups every single day and yet see no difference. This is because you're not engaging the larger muscle groups in your body when you do just crunches or sit ups. The biggest muscle groups in our body are located in our lower body or our legs and they must be engaged for burning abdominal fat. The more muscles you recruit in a movement, more is the oxygen required by these muscles and higher is the calorie burn. So without further ado, let's get to these 5 simple exercises that will help you burn belly fat. The first one are my favourite squats. Now squats are exercises that engage our legs, our core and the back. And if you can add a dumbbell or barbell to it, then even the shoulders and arms are engaged. Stand with your feet slightly wider than your hips, toes pointed slightly outwards and back straight. Pick a spot in front of you and look straight. Arms can be folded or held out straight in front parallel to the ground. Now breathe in, break at your hip and start pushing your hip back. As you push your hip backwards, you also start bending at your knees. As you squat down, make sure to push your knees apart. Come up and breathe out. Again, breathe in, squat, breathe out. Do this 15 to 20 times and repeat the set for two more times. Over times, you can make it more challenging by adding dumbbells or a barbell. The second are lunges. Now, lunges are again exercises that involve our hips, glutes, quadriceps, inner thighs and the core. Now, there are many ways in which you can do a lunge. I am going to demonstrate a forward lunge. Stand with your feet hip width apart. Take a step forward with your right leg and lower your body until the right thigh is parallel to the ground and the right shin is vertical. It's okay if the knee shifts forward a little but make sure it does not go past the toe. Press into the right heel to come back and repeat on the other side. Do this for 15 to 20 times and repeat the set for two more times. Third are step ups. For step ups, find a chair, a step, or even a bench. This is your starting position. Place your entire left foot on the step or a chair or a bench. Press through your left heel as you step on the bench and bring your right knee up. Now step down with your right leg while keeping your left foot on the bench. Now repeat. After 10 to 12 repetitions, switch sides. Place your right foot on the step and bring your left knee up. Repeat this for 10 to 12 times. Fourth are planks. Planks are exercises that are great for our arms, shoulders, core and our glutes. For planks, get down on the floor in a push-up position. Bend your elbows so that they are directly below your shoulders and make sure your arms are shoulder width apart and parallel to the body. Keep your neck and spine neutral. Don't dip your butt and don't even reach out to the sky. Make sure you keep your head and back in a straight line or there will be risk of injury to the back. Make sure to engage your core and at all times keep breathing. You can hold this position for 20 to 30 seconds at the beginning and with time you can challenge yourself to plank for 60 seconds or more. Fifth are burpees. Burpees have a reputation for a reason. They are one of the most challenging and effective exercises and are good for a full body workout. I am going to demonstrate three levels of burpees today in an increasing order of difficulty. Once you master the first level, you can move on to the next. For level 1, move into a squat position with your hands on the ground. Kick your feet into the plank position with your arms extended. 
immediately return your feet into the squat position stand up from your squat position For level 2 we are going to add a jump to the burpee. So you do your regular burpee but when you come back up you jump before going into the squat position again. For level 3 we are going to add a push up to the burpee to make it more challenging. Thank you so much for watching the video and as i said before do share this video with as many people as you can i'll catch up with you in my next video until then bye